24 hours. Wake up, eat, shit, lose some Milo, then sleep. That's the everyday life. I've been hard stuck in this loop for a year now, stuck in the trenches of gold. I've tried okay, many different ways no and I techniques over the past few months on my channel and made so many videos on them, but it never seems to get me to plat. Maybe I didn't do the challenge all the way. And hell, maybe I trolled a little bit, but that's something else. I've lost all hope on ranking up in Valorant at this point, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to get out of this hell. I have no more options left, until I saw ISO. Since he's still relatively a new agent, I was thinking if I could master him before everyone else can, I might, just might, be able to get out of gold for once, or even become the best. So you know what? For a last ditch effort, I'm gonna play ISO. But this time, I didn't do it in your usual way. I played ISO for 24 hours straight, on stream, and this is what occurred on the day of i started the first hour with a warm-up starting out with aim labs then the range and finally team deathmatch once that was over i queued up into my first game we're on we're on bind oh f we're on bind okay, auto lock auto lock auto lock i came into the match pretty nervous even though i warmed up and you can see it in the first couple rounds but over time i started getting into my groove more and getting kills It's not like I won the game all of a sudden, as there were iffy moments. Bro. Holy f But I still tried my best, and we started to rack up some rounds. And after a few more kills and rounds, we managed to win. I didn't do the best, but whatever. A win's a win. I ranked up to gold 3. Maybe this is easier than I thought. Maybe I might do well in my next match, where I died every single round and lost the game horribly. But there were still 22 hours left, and this was only the second game. And I just chugged on to my third match, where I did do better compared to last game. Okay, maybe not just a little better, like way better. I was pub stomping on these kids, as I could feel myself in the flow state. After stealing my teammate's ace, although by accident, we won the match. I gained 33 RR and dropped a whopping 27 kills, which is very nice. But only two and a half hours have passed, and now playing Valorant for another 21 and a half hours all in one sitting is probably not very healthy. Not like it was anyway. And if I did that, I would probably die. So I developed a system to first of all, not die, but also consistently play well and have me kick into the flow state over the course of 24 hours. First, I close my eyes and reset my vision. Next, I get down and do 10 push-ups, then get some food, and after all that, play three more games rinse and repeat first game after my break was ascent and long story short i straight up shit on every single one of them in that lobby Second game was Haven. I hit my shots, trolled a little bit, got my entries, and won the game. And then it was Breeze. We started off slow, but then on round 10, I bought a Marshall and started going crazy. Ooh. Oh my god, yo. After that, there was only kills, kills, and a death. Yeah. But I was still getting more kills and kills and kills and kills and kills. And another win. Let's fucking go. Now it was time to take another break. I did some push ups, took a piss, and did this. Bruh. Afterwards, when I hopped back on, it was time for some more games and more wins. My energy really mellowed out during this period, as it was 3 in the morning and most people in my stream were lurking, so I was really just focused on my gameplay. 
I wasn't pub stopping, but I wasn't playing like absolute shit. So I was just chugging along through my games, giving comms, getting round wins, and just being an overall good teammate. This mental helped me win my games more consistently, and we finally got out of gold and hit plat one. So the challenge was over, right? No, this was a 24 hour stream. So I have to play Valorant for the next 17 hours, whether I liked it or not. So now, it wasn't about ranking up anymore. Now I had to maintain my rank, and we were not off to a good start. Both mid is closed. But I kept playing this game through a round by round basis. So this eventually got me this clutch. I'm, like, I'm ulting, I'm ulting. Hold on. My next game was on split, where I had a team full of carries, and I'll be honest, they carried the shit out of me this match. Oh my god, that deadlock, that thing saved me. I also met someone who I would say would be my ride or dive during the rest of the stream. Da Bunny Hoodie. Weird ass name. I thought he was fun to play with, so I added him and we started queuing together after my break. Look at this dude. Then we got to queuing a lot of matches. And I mean a lot of matches. We were winning almost every single game when we started queuing together, except for this one bind match. Oh my god. You failed! But other than that, it was going pretty well. I was so worried about losing my plat that I hit plat 2 instead. I know, right? <laughs> After playing with the bunny for a couple of hours, he said he had to get off. He was so fun to play with and over the course of the night, he helped me make this 24 hour challenge more enjoyable. After he left, I realized I'd been awake for 16 hours straight and it was really taking a toll on me. So I got Alex to order me some food. Oh yeah, sure, I'll just send you how much? 20? Wait, 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 wait. Or we can get something else that's like better deal for you. Uh... Oh god, I wanna see you eat this hot chicken on stream. I can just order that shit. You know what? Fuck it, let's get a slider. GG's idol, GG's you up.
Now banana, but I don't actually know. After I finished my food, I got back on to play one match, but it went really bad. Yo, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Like a little bit behind. They Come on. Fuck, man, right side. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no care. One more, one more. One more, two more, two more. And then you swing wide again. Oh, 88. Oh, okay. I lost a match horribly, and I was dazed out of my mind. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I felt like they were gonna go on fire at this point since I've been playing Valorant for so huh? long. So on hour 16, I broke the rules. So I set a 20 minute timer and I slept on my bed for a bit, just enough to recharge for the rest of the stream. I got back on a little recharge, but something was different this time. I felt like I was just slower than usual and straight up just started playing worse. Okay, there's two lanes. Reyna's B main. 104 Reyna. Nice. Good job, Whenever I won at this point, it wasn't because of me. It was because of my teammates carrying the hell out of me, barely getting us to win. What in the actual fuck is this lobby? Da Bunny got back on, so we started playing a few matches, and I regained some motivation, so I started going crazy. But now this time, I tried my best, and still, STILL couldn't win my matches. I dropped 38 kills, and STILL drew on OT. And then after, I was just straight up playing like shit. What in the act- Whoa, what the fuck? No, I can't fucking aim! Right side, right side, right side, right side, right side. I need comms. Um, Yo, A main, A main. Two, two, two. Big distraction. Dude, I hate fucking. Dude, okay, I'm actually tilted now. I'm gonna go take off. Look at that shower. Shut the fuck up. Good shit. Yeah, I'm not playing the play too. I'm honestly good. I'm tired. And I can already, like, tell I'm in the point. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah. I'm on the yeah. point where I have way too much energy right now, where I, I feel like I want to puke. Okay, that's okay. Dabani was done, but I still had two more hours to go. Until the end, I had to tough out these last two hours. Yeah, there's like at least two here. Brim, brim, brim. Full flank, actually. No, man. Spike yep, 44. Yep. And with 33 oh minutes God. left on the clock, I finished my last ISO rank match. I didn't want to play ranked anymore. I was over it. I do not care. That's wraps. Fuck, I'm not doing this shit anymore. Oh my fucking god. But there were still Holy 30 shit. minutes on the clock, so I started playing TDM to get through these last few minutes. And in the final 30 seconds, One, I started counting zero. down. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
So in the end, what did I accomplish by playing ISO for 24 hours straight? Well, I went up a whole division from gold 2 into plat 2. And I was no longer hard stuck in gold. And now hard stuck in plat. But at least now, I was one step closer to hitting ascendant. Other than that, this was not worth it. You should never stay up for 24 hours in general. Let alone play video games for that long. But whatever, I don't care. Just, I don't know, like and subscribe. I see ya.